Repentance means that you change your mind about God, about yourself, and about your need. You change your mind and Christ will transform it. We've all sinned. And that's the reason he sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross. You say, well, what do I have to do? You have to be willing to repent of your sins. That means to change your mind, to change your heart, to change your attitude. That means that you say, Lord, I have sinned. I'm sorry. It means that you're saying to God, I'm willing to change my way of living and turn from sin. That's repentance. Change your mind. He'll change your heart. Change your mind and he will come in and regenerate you and you will be a born again person. Today is the day of salvation. Come now while you can. Don't wait. At a given moment, a given signal, he's coming back to this earth to set up his kingdom. And what a kingdom it's going to be. It'll be a world in which there will be no tears and no sorrow and no death. There'll be no suffering. There'll be no war. There'll be no police forces. There'll be no armies. It's going to be a glorious world ruled by one person, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's alive. I've given my life not to a dead Christ, but to a living Christ. And I'm following a living Savior. And he's given me a song to sing. He's given me a flag to follow. He's given me something to believe. I have reason for existence. I know where I've come from. I know why I'm here. I know where I'm going. Do you? Salvation is all of grace. You say, well, Billy, do you mean that a person can find Christ that quick and, and be transformed from a sinner to a saint that quick? Yes. You go all the way through the New Testament. The woman of Samaria, just like that. At noon, she was a sinner talking to Jesus, filled with immorality. Before evening came, she was an evangelist winning other people to Christ. The 3,000 people at Pentecost were converted at one moment. The Apostle Paul, who was on the road to Damascus, was converted that day when he met Jesus on the road. He thought the prisoners were going to escape. The Ethiopian nobleman converted to Christ that quick. Thief on the cross converted to Christ that quick. Transformed and changed. Now, it doesn't mean that you become immediately perfect. You're still the same. You're going back to the same family, the same address, the same crowd. But it means that your heart has changed. Your inside has been changed. You're starting in a new direction in your life. It's called in the Bible conversion. 